to vlogmas are we doing vlogmas i guess we are for today um actually disclaimer i have not been feeling the best it's winter now and cases are spiking up i've mental health is just something that i struggle a little bit so i have not been feeling the best anyway today is a beautiful day beautiful so i just did this look which is a i inserted a picture of nikki tutorials she did a similar look i used her palette so i kind of got inspired i wanted to follow what she did but i used a little bit of different um shades i didn't use the orange for some reason i think orange goes with my complexion and yeah i'm really happy how it turned out i think the skin looks just glowing and i'm still wearing my robe and i'm gonna get dressed and i think we're gonna go we got a fake tree from home depot delivered yesterday so we're gonna put the tree today decorate the place and try to be a little festive and i'm gonna bring you guys along to what we're doing and uh yeah and i hope you guys enjoy this vlogmas vlog vlogmas i don't know i've never done this before so that's what it is all right, so I'm finally ready to leave the house. I don't know what jacket I'm going to wear, like what winter coat, but I figure that in, before I decide that, I just wanted to show what the outfit is today. I feel like this is very schoolgirl chic. I don't even know. I'm wearing, uh, these are Zara shoes. I don't know how you call them. They look big on me, but they're my size. Um, and this is from, I need to learn how to pronounce the clothing store but it's Jerf Avenue the the little set and this is Zara too and the sweater has pretty extreme shoulder pads not extreme extreme but like pretty visible and then with the cropped blazer I think it looks really nice oh and this is Zara too I thought this was very my style so <laughs> I picked this up so I think for my coat, I'm going to actually wear this Topshop winter coat. I got this past January. I don't know. It may be a little too bright, but I think the gray with this like pop of color kind of works. I don't know. I may change my mind, but I think, I think we're going to, we're going to rock the yellow coat. That New York was dead is lying. Also, I'm a little uncomfortable. There's too many people on the street. Like Fifth Avenue is insane. It is so cold. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go get some food. I don't know if I'm gonna do any Christmas shopping here today. It's so cold. I just wanna go home. Jay's parking as usual. I am going to, well, this makeup like held up pretty well. I'm going to organize the house because literally yesterday I didn't do anything. So I have a lot of boxes to put downstairs and like there's a pile of, of returns, but we're putting our Christmas tree up today. So we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys a little bit it's actually what say like almost seven it feels like it's 10 p.m winter hey girl all right so we just finished the tree we don't know if we're keeping this one i don't know if i can return it hopefully i can she is very bare but she's there and it's a fake tree because the girls don't the girls would like attack if it was a real tree i mean they will attack this anyway and up top I got that on, hold on, I got that on West Elm, but it was, it's, it, it's a little too heavy, so, I don't know, we'll see, I have to buy some more stuff for the tree, but that's it, that's it for this vlog, mess. and yeah, I'll probably continue vlogging tomorrow, I don't know what I'm doing, I mean, I'm gonna work, but if anything exciting happens, I'll be back, bye! <laughs>
que beleza! Ai, minha! Hey girl! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you here for breakfast? You already have your breakfast, right baby? You're so cute. Look at you. Such a pretty girl. Thanks for not attacking the tree, Mia. You did such a good job so far. You literally have the whole bed. And you lay on my mama's new clothes. Fox hands! Fox hands. Oh, you don't, you don't give a shit, huh? Okay, thanks. Right, so welcome back to Vlogmas Part 2. I just finished my makeup, which I'm very, very impressed with my end result. It took maybe an hour and a half, so let's be honest about that. It wasn't simple, but I really, really like this. I think it looks really cool, very festive, and yeah, I'm gonna get out of the house after a week. I have to take this nail polish off first, and I'll bring you guys along. I think we're doing some returns. We're gonna get some decorations for the Christmas tree. I don't know if in Astoria or in Manhattan. I look so tan. This is just a lot of, what's the name? Drunk elephant bros and drops, okay? That's what it is. And we are finally ready to leave soon. Anyway, um, OJ's coming back. This is, I will learn. Just give me one second. I'll learn how to pronounce the brand, but this is from Jerf Avenue, the blazer and the pants. I'm wearing Zara boots, and this is a Zara sweater too. Because I wanted to wear something still warm, but not high neck and, and kind of like implement some sort of color because it's all black. And this is a Zara earring, so cool. This one actually stays and doesn't really hurt my ear, which is... A good thing because the other ones that i got from zara is just a little difficult and then in the other earring here i have just a little hoop and it actually comes with this one stud i'm gonna get dressed i mean just put on a jacket and get a bag and then leave hi babe i love the sunshine jay is dropping off the laundry and i'm gonna we're just gonna Drive to the city, enjoy three hours of sun. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh my God. I look so glowy. So we wanted to go to that park over there, but apparently it's closed. Okay, so we're gonna get a drink. Yeah. Cool. What is that? Is that your drink or tea? Yeah, it's my drink. It's mulled wine. So I'm a little tipsy. I just chugged some Prosecco drink, which is actually really good. And now we're on our way to dinner, probably the last dinner in a while after everything, because everything's gonna shut down. I'm getting that for dessert. This is the butternut squash soup. I think I'm gonna try, try that. Anyway, look how pretty this. What is this? It's a drink, like with Prosecco, so somebody's gonna get wasted. Cheers to dinner until we can't have Cheers dinner. Cheers to the last anymore. indoor dinner of 2020. Cheers. I don't think you'd like this. I like it. You don't really like it. I don't think you'd like this. Why? You got the brus the artichokes. He told you it was like kind of a soup thing. He did. No, okay. he did. But I just was like, are these dumplings or is this like an art? I think it's an artichoke. I think it's an artichoke. This is the 
Squash. I don't know why my mouth was watering so much. Because you're so hungry. We're rushing to the car. It is so cold. Look at this beautiful, beautiful city. Look at you. What is that? Is that like a real tree? Not a real tree, but like, is that like... It's like a painting. Is it a painting? Oh, wow. So we, we just got home and I thought that I would go to this like beautiful street. I think it's in Brooklyn. They have all the house like lit up and I thought I would do that for tonight. But honestly, it's 7.30 and we're so tired. I think we just, we ate too much. Uh, I have all those boxes to kind of put downstairs a lot of cleaning that I have to do, which I feel like every vlog I see the same thing, but it's a reality. I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I think it makes sense. I'll just stop here and then I'll see you guys in the next vlogmas. I always I keep saying vlog instead of saying vlogmas because clearly it's my first time doing this, so I don't know. And yeah, I just want to say, which actually, let me turn this around because I actually never shows you guys the outfit in full detail and what i think i just want to like i want to do a styling video just on these pieces because i'm so impressed so let me show you what i'm referring to so i got these so these are the blazers and the the blazers these are the pants and the blazers that i got from jerf avenue i'll put the name and i'm really impressed like i think i you know when i saw the price point i thought it was too expensive i'm like why is it so expensive like and then i looked at the fabric and the way they work and how they source their materials which i i, I kind of like okay well if this is something that i think i'm gonna have in my closet for a long time i'm gonna wear time and time again then let's invest the the money but when i got this and I know, you know, this won't do justice, but the fabric is really, really thick, but not um, heavy when you're wearing. It's still kind of light, but structured. I like the way the shoulder pads are. So they're not really like pointy. They're more like down a little bit, but it does create this kind of like broader shoulder, but it's still a little bit um, cinch on the waist. It's an oversized look. If you don't like that look, this look is not for you. I particularly like that. So therefore, that's why I bought it. Um, and then I want to just show you guys. Hold on. So the blazer, it's a black oversized blazer. Therefore, you can wear with jeans, skirts, dresses. It's so versatile that I don't even have to like go into the reasons why. I think this is a staple. I hate using the word staple, but honestly, it's a black oversized blazer. Really well made expensive but i think you know if this is something that you want to have one and done that's your guy now the pants i got the blazer got in small the pants i got in the medium which is a little bit loose on my waist but honestly i've never had pants that would fit me the way these ones do they don't really bunch up too much on my hips and they just sit right on my waist even though it's a little loose I just love the way that they look and I don't have to hem them either. They're just the perfect length for me. It's just, I'm so impressed. And the stitching is all beautiful. It's just, it's a really well-made piece. So that made me, like I wanna buy other pieces from them too, because now I want this in gray and white. Just <laughs> give me all the colors. It's really, really nice. And I love how the pockets are not too tight. I can. You know there's some room there and it's just so nice it skims my body really well i mean it's just a well-made piece you guys all know that i shop at zara i do their pieces sometimes it's just like woof that's rough i won't get into the you know details of why that is you all know why but yeah this is just it's a smaller brand if you want to support it feel free to it's expensive it's not cheap it's not going to be fifty dollars a pair of pants which you know fifty dollars is not cheap either but it's the price point is higher however i think if you're looking for something that you're gonna have one you're gonna wear for 
the longest time, I can see this being something that's gonna stay in my closet for a long time. It's really, really well made. Thumbs up. She rarely comes on my lap this way. It's because Jay's not home, so she's like, <laughs> I want some love. Who's gonna give me love? I'm gonna give you love on my chin. You're so beautiful. Hi, beauty. Hi, my baby. Don't leave, please. Thank you. So, actually, that reminds me. Um, Foxy is a 2020 survivor. This girl went through a lot this year. I think, like all of us. But she was in the hospital, she had cancer, then she has an um, autoimmune disease that kind of started with her type of cancer too, that got removed. So between, in the span of one year, now it's been one year, because she had her surgery last December. So she had the cancer removed and then she had, she got really weak by this disease that she has. And she was in a ventilator because she couldn't have her muscles and her her muscles were not she couldn't connect i'm not going to be able to explain this correctly but she was able unable to breathe effectively by herself because of this disease that she has um that attacked her muscles so she you know she's been on medication for she was really sick in january and she was at the hospital at the vet for like she was there for a week, and if you all know how much that costs to keep a cat in an intensive care unit for a week, you know what they mean. And all I can say is that they told us what her chances were. She was a healthy cat. She was a cat that didn't have any other diseases. They didn't know exactly what it was by the time that they put her in a ventilator. So we made a decision to... to Keep trying like i was like i cannot put her down if you told if i if the vets came to us and said look her chances are very low it's a very aggressive disease she's just gonna suffer then yes that's not what we heard so i could not make that decision so she had a dialysis which she could have died all of that so she's been home since february she came home she was an anorexic anorexic cat she was so skinny her first night back home she purr and slapped the whole night and it was i was i can't even talk about it because it was just so much for whoever have cats you understand not just cats pets in general they're part of your family she's part of my family so she's been home since february and we have to give her medicine twice a day and what we heard from the vet was like the rest of her life. Unless, you know, there's a test she can do every six months to see how her titters, titers, <sighs> terrible, how they're doing. The level is like 0.3. And when she was really sick, it was like 10. It was really bad. So for the time being, every time we leave, we have to figure out a time to come back. And we have, you know, if we want to go away for the weekend, which, you know, this year we just, didn't that we barely left the apartment uh we have to get a cat sitter and that's what it is but the whole point of all of this spiel is that she is my christmas gift i'm just so happy she's okay i have this other girl who's okay and that's all we can ask for this year is just being healthy and yeah i don't mean to get sad but it's been a lot <laughs> and I don't even have, and, the blah. and sometimes I feel like when I say that I feel so ungrateful because I think I was lucky Jay and I have been lucky overall but we just try to make the best of it that's all you can do and that's it I think I'm gonna finish this vlog here I hope you guys enjoy it I know that was like pretty simple. We just went out to eat <laughs> and hung out. And, but that's the reality. I mean, that's what my life is right now. I try to enjoy my weekends as much as I can. And 
I do love the Christmas tree. This is from Home Depot. I think I've said in the first day that I put that up, but it's from Home Depot. The Christmas light come with the tree. It's the perfect size for us. And Mia has been great. She's been amazing. She has not attacked the tree, which is a plus. I was very, very concerned that she would just like be a little asshole and just like attack my tree. I do need to get some more decoration or maybe we'll keep it that way. I don't even know. You know, I just, it's a weird year for all of us. Anywho, I'll leave you guys here. I'll talk to you guys in the next Vlogmas, which will come maybe the same week that this one's being uploaded. I don't know. That's what we're promising, but who knows? Who knows? Bye.